Hi, my name is Clarissa. I'm a medical assistant and today I'll be talking about how to perform a finger stick and also what I will need. So here are some things that I'll need to perform a finger stick. I'll need a sharps container. I need um, a cuver, a capillary tube. I need a lancet, clay, a glucose meter with strip. I'll need gauze, alcohol pads, and gloves. And then here's the difference between the three that I'll be performing today. So I'll be doing the glucose, which is testing for the sugar in the blood. And I'll be using the monitor and the strip. I'll be doing the HCT, which is the numbers of the red blood cells. And I'll be performing the HB, HGB, which is checking for anema. So then I'm going to go ahead and show you. So first I'm going to want to make sure that my hands are washed and they've already been washed. And I'm going to want to verify who the patient is. And once I do that, I'm going to want to put on my pair of gloves. Okay, now that I'm putting on my gloves and my hands are clean, the goal is to have enough blood to get three of the tests done so I don't have to poke the patient again. So here's the patient's hand. Their arm is facing like this. I'm going to want to use the ring finger. I'm going to want to get an alcohol pad. I'm going to want to prep their finger i'm going to be poking on the side of their finger because you never want to poke in the middle so once it's prepped i'm going to go ahead and take the lancet to the side of the finger right here and it's just going to poke it now that it's poked i'm going to want to get my gauze and wipe the side of the finger we always want to collect the first wipe of blood that you get you don't want to use that and then i'm going to want to get my capillary tube which is gonna look like this. You're gonna wanna hold it down at an angle so you don't get no bubbles inside of the capillary tube and fill it with the blood like that. You're gonna wanna get two tubes filled with it. After you do that, you're gonna wanna poke it in the clay, which there's gonna be this clay right here. And then you're gonna wanna stick it in the tube like this and that's how it's gonna look. And then once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to squeeze the finger again to get more blood. You're gonna wipe it. And then you're gonna to wanna to get the cuvert. Go ahead and collect it to the blood. It's gonna go, the cuvert kind of looks like it's kind of pointed at an angle. So when you collect it, you're just gonna to wanna to touch the tip to just collect the blood. And then you're gonna go ahead and put that in the machine to test. And once you have that in the machine, you're now gonna to wanna to test for the glucose. You're gonna to wanna to wipe it again. And then make sure you're squeezing the finger to get as much blood as possible out so you don't have to continue poking the patient. Once you have a good amount of blood, you're going to want to insert the glucose strip inside of the meter. And that will activate it. So just insert like that and it'll activate the monitor. And once it's on, you're going to want to collect the little dab of blood. It's going to go in there. You're going to let this sit. Once it sits for a couple seconds, it should tell you the reading. Of their blood and then you're gonna want to give the patient the little gauze for them to hold it and the patient's gonna hold it and then once you're done the readings gonna come up on that and then you're done with your test